Anna, are you out here? You said the fuck down! Oh, Tis the season. We are talking Where Dear from 2022, directed and co written by Andrew Dyson. And this is a schlocky, Christmas themed horror comedy movie. It focuses on this couple, and the guy has come from a kind of hillbilly style family, and he's been living out in this city for a while and has met this girl. But she has never met his family and he's a little embarrassed about his kind of hillbilly regneck origins but he agrees to take her to see his family over the Christmas break. And as you'd expect we have various kind of like uh, hillbilly backwards kind of style cartoons and stuff but they're friendly enough. Uh, and one day this girl goes out for a walk in the woods and is attacked by a deer and is bitten and thus transformed into the Weir Deer. And now it is up to the boyfriend along with this family to try and find a way to stop it. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. So let us discuss Weir Deer. So uh, a, a, a breezy 70 minute movie. It doesn't outstay its welcome. It's kind of quite short and punchy. Uh, let's talk about what I think works in it. I actually think this had a little more heart than I was expecting. Um, the, the movie is comedic, there's no doubt about it, and it's obviously quite a silly concept, and the way our, some of our extended family members decide that they're going to try and use Christmas-themed weapons against this wear deer because they must work because it's a wear christmas themed animal, I guess, and therefore she must be... Uh, susceptible to Christmas themed weapons. I mean it's a little it's a little stretch but there you go. But it does have more heart than I was expecting. Um, these family members kind of you know they are still feeling feeling like a family unit. They do feel like relatives that someone might have that are a little bit kind of uh, you know outside of what you're maybe you're used to in your normal life but you still have that sort of connection. It had a little more heart than I was expecting this, this film and the relationship between this guy Max who is our kind of our male protagonist I guess and his girlfriend versus his kind of extended family were you know at some times quite touching and the way they, the family kept reminiscing when they were young I thought you know what this is actually a little more heart than I was kind of expecting and I think the performances whilst a little bit on the kind of uh, the cheaper cheesy side you know, I think they, they, they worked for this movie. Um, let's talk about the actual kind of where deer itself. Um, I actually kind of quite like the direction they went with it. They haven't gone in a, like a really scary looking kind of creature. Instead, this kind of creature, you might think looks more like a, a thing from mythology or folklore. In actual fact, it looks like a fawn. So I think Mr. Tumnus from uh, the Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe. It kind of looks like that. A little bit more of a uh, be benevolent sort of looking creature. Albeit it's one that does have a bloodthirsty streak to it. So I quite like the um, the kind of the, the way they design the makeup. And I actually think, again, for a low budget movie, it's quite good. Think about like when you watch a creepy doll movie. I think it works better when you have a regular looking doll that is doing like horrible, like creepy um stuff rather than a kind of a, an overtly evil looking doll which kind of looks like doesn't really look like it would ever be designed like that it has that same sort of thing this this creature doesn't look particularly ferocious but it is and i have to say i think the the other thing i liked about it is when we inevitably get some bodies drop i thought you know what we have a, 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 a like um a couple not our main couple but the the guy gets killed and like the wife seems like genuinely like you know she's in in some, you know she can't contain her sorrow and it's really uh, has, has a breakdown over it and I thought wow you know it actually has a little bit more heart than I was expecting in regards to you know a low budget silly movie and and I think it, it the movie takes itself 
slightly more seriously than maybe I was kind of expecting uh, with, you know, you take out the fact that this is a wear deer, um, then, it, it, you know, and that's a, the silly concept in itself. This, you could replace this with a werewolf and it would be considered somewhat of a straight movie. So there it is. What doesn't work, I mean, it is a very low budget movie. The plot is, is kind of very, very basic. There's no real surprises. There's no real kind of, um, uh, you know, things that are going to subvert your expectations in any particular way here. It's a very simple A to B storyline. And yes, you can argue that our, our extended family, these rednecks, are just kind of like, you know, hillbilly hick stereotypes and they kind of play up to that. Um, I still find them quite likeable, if I'm honest, but they're nonetheless, uh, you know, arguably, yes, they are stereotypes and the acting isn't the strongest. It's not meant to be like a, a movie that is going to be sort of taken seriously. And although I quite liked the, the idea here of this kind of makeup of this wear did that looks a little like a fawn, as they say, those of you who want more of a horrific style kind of creature may be disappointed in the more sort of subdued look that they have gone for. But I kind of liked it outside of the, the, the kind of like the hoof type kind of appendages it's got um, that don't really look very good. The mask, the, the facial makeup looks good. Maybe the rest of it, not so much. I mean, arguably you could say, you know, a werewolf is a carnivore, or a wolf is a carnivore, it's a predator. It's a hunter, so you would understand why that would be so dangerous. But why would a deer, you know, a herbivore, be this aggressive and want to kind of eat people? It's never really addressed, and I think that maybe at least should have been discussed in regards with his uh, family members about why it is a, you know, if you're comparing this to a werewolf, which they do quite often, why it is a, this would act more like a werewolf than a deer, if that makes sense. It doesn't really kind of ever... Um, you know, uh, it's never really addressed. And I have to say as well, it, it doesn't really look like Christmas. There's a few Christmas decorations, but it, maybe it's just where they were filming it. It's kind of bright and sunny out. And so outside of these kind of Christmas decorations and stuff, it, you know, maybe it kind of doesn't really portray Christmas quite um, as, as kind of like as much as you would like. And I, and I think it ends a little abruptly. Um, but there you go. Overall, this isn't as bad as I would potentially think it could be. Uh, it's by no means a kind of a, a particularly memorable movie, but it's not bad, I would say. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time.